So, this is the new spreadsheet from Lotus that everyone is talking about. Yes, it's called Improv. If you have a minute, click on the monitor shown on the screen and I'll give you a demonstration. As we walk through this demo, we'll use these four icons I'm highlighting. To go forward, click the Go icon. To repeat a sequence I just showed you, click Repeat. To go back one sequence, click Back. And to exit, click Stop. Now as we go through each section, I'll make a list of what Lotus Improv offers on this first post-it. On this second post-it, I'll note the advantages to you. If you wish to see a brief summary of Improv, click on this Improv icon when it's highlighted. Now begin by clicking the Go button. Here's a forecast that I built in Improv. These labels are referred to as items in the category called Measure. And these items belong to the category Quarter. So, how did you arrive at those figures? You can see for yourself. The formulas are self-documenting and stored in a separate panel, so no more staring at the spreadsheet trying to remember what a formula means. How does it know what you mean by sales? Well, the cell names come from the labels you define, like sales and returns. But there's only one formula? That's right. The formulas are general, so I only need one formula to calculate all of these cells. That means less work for me. Now that you built that total column over on the right, how do you build the formula for that total? Just point and shoot. You can use the built-in 1, 2, 3 style functions that you're familiar with. When I click on this icon, Improv tells me that the last formula I created applies to cells that are being calculated by other formulas in the spreadsheet. It lets me choose the formula I want to apply. So no matter how complex your spreadsheet is, you can't possibly overwrite text, values, or formulas. That's great! Now look at this. If I need to know which formulas are calculating these cells, I don't have to hunt cell by cell. I simply highlight the rows of cells to see which formulas calculate them. Wouldn't it be great if I could get a total of these highlighted expenses automatically? Well, with Improv, I don't even have to key in the formulas to get group summary information. What if I don't want to show all that detail on individual expenses? Collapse the group and only the summary information shows. These are just the numbers for the compact disc line. What if I want to add the tape and LP lines? It's as simple as adding a new category. And after you add the product category, label the first item Compact Discs. Add two more items, then label them Tapes and LPs. Hey, there are numbers here already. That's because Improv automatically applies the CD formulas to the other two product lines. Can we now compare actual numbers against the budget? No problem. We'll just add another category. We'll then label the first item budget. Then we can add items for actual and variance numbers later. If I were looking at this, I'd want to compare the bottom line for all product lines. The information is in the spreadsheet, but all of my net income numbers are separated. That's the great part about Improv. All you have to do is pick up the product category down here and move it over here. Great! Now I can see net income for all product lines in one place, instantly. That's right. With Improv, you don't have to decide in advance how you want to view the model because the data is not hardwired in place. Suppose the finance manager wants to compare actual performance against the forecast by product line. Right now, he'd have to scroll across the spreadsheet to see all of the numbers. Pick up a category, move it, and see what you need to see. Great! Now I can see budget, actual, and variance numbers for each product on a single screen. And if the sales manager wants to see it by quarter? 
Just pick up the quarter category and move it over here. Now she can see the results for each quarter on a separate page. No other spreadsheets on any computer lets you do this. How about all the work I've done in 123? Do I have to throw it all away? See for yourself. Improv reads and writes 123 files, data, and formulas. Improv doesn't stop there. It enables you to get great looking graphs very quickly. After all, you deliver presentations, not data. Look how you can best intensify that message graphically. Well, that's it. What do you think? I have to agree. Lotus has reinvented the spreadsheet. For me, the decision was simple. Do we want to spend time on the mechanics of spreadsheets, or do we want to analyze data so we can beat the competition? With Improv, we keep our edge. If you would like to see this demo again, click on the next monitor. If you would like to leave at this time, click outside the monitor.